sport. It's in the game. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the FIFA 15 career mode. Guys, I am so excited about this. Finally, I have made it onto FIFA 15, and currently we are sitting on 23k subscribers. Thank you, FIFA 14, for being so kind to me, and thank you, assistant coaches, for subscribing and supporting the series I have made over the course of FIFA 14. Right now we are starting our Liverpool career mode and I decided to go with this formation because I think this one will let me attack in the best way and in all the other formations I could not use Coutinho and Coutinho is a player I'm really looking forward to use. He's 81 rated so I decided to go with this formation. I know that Sterling is actually a winger but I do believe that he can play on the left midfield position as well. Markovic is on the right hand and side and up front we have Daniel Sturridge and Mario Balotelli I am so looking forward to use him in FIFA 14 I had him on my Arsenal career mode and he was sick he was amazing and in the background you can now see all the talents that are on the bench Liverpool has so many talents in their team and I'm so looking forward to use all of them and some of them the younger ones will be loaned out to get, to get to teams where they can get a lot of playing time basically and our team wants us to get to the final of the cup which is a big goal to have for the first season and they also want us to qualify for the Champions Cup no worries on that one hopefully we will be able to achieve that I'm really looking forward to see all these talents in the team grow but there is one position that we have to change guys I know a lot of you do not like this player in my team it is Johnson yes he is 76 rated but Everyone seems to hate him. I don't know why, but when I watch Liverpool games, everyone on Twitter is mocking him. So I do not want to have the same comments on my videos saying, Johnson sucks, man. Sub him off. And I decided to go for one of the best right back talents. No, not one of the best. He is the best right back talent in this game. It is Mattia De Ciglio from AC Milan. He has been a great player for me in FIFA 14 and I believe he will be the same in FIFA 15. His team did not accept the first offer but then I had to make another offer with 13 million or no I decided to go for 12 million plus Johnson. Yes I know that's a shit ton of money but he will turn out to be one of the biggest talents in this game. So no worries on that one. I do have my budget planned out pretty much. And I think uh, it will be okay. We still have a lot of money on the budget, on the wage budget. I'm talking about that one. And I think in the end, if we have worries on the transfer budget, we could just transfer over some money from there. But at this point, we have 34 million. And we also have... A player named Divok Origi. He is 75 rated left winger and he seems amazing. I'm really looking forward to use him in this Liverpool career mode. But I decided to let him at Lille for this season. I think he might grow a lot more on that team than he can in this one. He will get a lot more playing time and hopefully he will be able to get a lot of goals to really rise his potential and get to it much faster than he could get on the bench of my team. So basically, I decided to put a lot of players on the transfer list. Mattia De Ciglio accepted. Yes, we have gotten ourselves an amazing right back, guys. I'm telling you, he was worth a lot, but he will be a really, really great transfer. And I hope I'm not going to have to eat my own words and I really hope he won't fail. Right here you can see his stats. He is a pacey right back who has a lot of stamina. So that will be coming in handy and he also has a four star weak foot which is great for a defender. He will be able to pass it with both of his feet and also cross it in. And uh, I decided to make a few changes for the team uh, with selling players. 
guys, I will be uh, I will be selling players that I'm not going to be using at all. And Lucas Leva is one of them. And we are actually able to get a good amount of money for him. 8 million. He has left to Atletico Madrid. Ruben Neves is a talent that I actually wanted to get. But... Ah, Porto just bought him. It says that he just joined the team. Actually, he was at Porto before, I think. I'm not sure about that one, but uh, he is a player I'm looking forward to buy in the future. I'm also looking forward to Zivkovic, who will be worth a shit ton in this game. He is the new Martial. He is the biggest talent considering strikers in this game and he will be a great player to use. Ricardo Kishna is one that I was looking forward to use in this career mode and I'm trying to get him into the team. He is an exciting prospect. Same with Alen Halilovic but Barcelona B decided to not let Alen go. He is not going to be joining our team in this season because it says he just recently joined the team. I don't know why it says that every single time. I think EA should sort that shit out. I don't want uh, the players to be locked for transfers and not being able to make the transfer to the team they want to go to. So that's shit about FIFA 15 career mode. But I think in the end we will enjoy this a lot guys. It will be a great journey with a lot of talents, with a lot of seasons. And talking about seasons guys, I will do at least two seasons with Liverpool because I think in the first season I just have to qualify for the Champions League and in the second one I will try and go and win it. If I'm not able to, I will play a third season but if I'm able to do so, you guys will decide what we will do if we should get on to another team in another league. And yeah, basically that's about it. But as you guys know, you assistant coaches have a lot of impact on my career modes. Everyone in the comments can tell you that you guys decide most of the stuff in my career mode because I'm doing a poll at the end of every single episode basically every single episode and uh, in the end you guys decide a lot of stuff we have had episodes where you decided to play a certain player and then he got onto the pitch and scored two goals got us the win and the three points so that is the impact that the assistant coaches do have on my career mode and that is why I actually call you guys assistant coaches because you're helping me a lot on my career modes and Ricardo Kishna accepted our offer he's joining the team he is a left winger and i really look forward to use him coming from the bench he will be a pacey guy to get past the tired defenders cross it in or take a shot by himself he also has four star skills and four star weak foot so it is really looking good he is an amazing player 19 years old one thing I should mention guys, yes, I did sim every single uh, friendly game because I only have 6 hours to record on EA Access and I do not want to waste my time playing friendly games who no one actually cares about. So don't act like oh, you're simming all the games, no worries. When the BPL starts, we will play at least, I think, 80% of the games. So no worries about that one. Karim Belarabi, this guy is ripping through the Bundesliga at the moment. He is the biggest surprise. I think about three years ago, yes, I was watching him during the halftime show or the halftime war warm up during a game and he was he was skilling man he was skilling like like no one I've seen and he looks to be amazing he's surprising the uh, the Bundesliga at this point and Julian Brandt is another player from Bayer Leverkusen I'm looking forward to get into our team but in the end you assistant coaches will decide which of these two will be joining our team I know Brandt is 18 Karim Belarabi is 24 but Belarabi guys he is really ripping through the Bundesliga at the moment. And in the end, you guys will have to decide if we should get an established player or if we should get ourselves a beast. 
a beast, a talent that is going to be growing into a beast. So uh, I look forward to your decision. In the end, I think both will be a great transfer. Another transfer that I was, I was trying to make uh, during this career mode episode is Yuri Tielemans. Finally, I offered them 11 million and he is hopefully going to accept the contract I just sent them. Right after that, we are getting the message from Julian Brandt, Karim Belarabi, Yuri Tielemans, every single one accepted. First up, I decided to get Yuri Tielemans in the team. Now we have two big talents in a center midfield position with Tielemans and Emre Can. But luckily, Emre Can can play a shit ton of positions and he will be a good substitute to use. And this is the question of the day, assistant coaches. Go ahead and tell me which of these two should I get. This will be the last transfer in this transfer window. And you guys will have to decide if I should get myself Karim Belarabi or Julian Brandt. I'm looking forward to see your guys' uh, comments and telling me what you think of these two players. And if you're not an assistant coach yet, go ahead and subscribe right now. This will be the career mode you will have the most influence in. And I think you guys will enjoy that. Hopefully, I will see you on the next episode. Have a nice day, assistant coaches. Peace. Let's go FIFA 15!